A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, I want A plus English. English. That's so much fun. English education for you and everyone. So come along. Learn some grammar. Hey. Learn a phrase. Uh -huh. Learn something new every day. Learn the A plus way. Start the show. Are you ready? Good plus, here we go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I want A plus English. Hello, everyone, and welcome to A Plus English. I'm Mike, and I'm Laura. Laura, Lunar New Year is coming up. That's right, Chinese New Year is coming up,、so、and、nice. one of the things that people like to do before、uh -huh. Chinese New Year is clean up.、Uh, are you a big Are you a big cleaner before what's, Chinese what's New Year? I want to get Marie Kondo. <laughs> Ooh,、over. that would be good.、Oh. She's probably busy though. Very because、yeah. she's from Japan, right? I think、yeah. people in Japan do something similar. So she might be cleaning up Tokyo. You're gonna have to clean up your、right. room at least. And of course, some people also have to help clean up their school or the places that they work. That's right. That's don't right. Don't they? So these are big parts of、uh, uh -huh. getting ready for Chinese New Year. Here's、uh -huh. our warm-up question: What is your favorite part of Lunar New Year, and why? And I will guess that it's not cleaning up. That's no, not your favorite part. No, no, that's your second favorite part.、My、favorite part of Lunar New、mm. Year. It used to be when I was a kid, though,、yes. is like the firecrackers. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was fun. 就是玩那个鞭炮 but when, that was when I and getting red envelopes.、Mm. I don't get those anymore because you、I'm, don't. No, because I'm a kid.、Uh, I mean, I I used to be a kid.、Yeah. I think after you start to like、uh -huh. make money.、Uh -huh. You're not supposed you to get. You should get your boyfriend to give you one. Oh, I there, should. There's an idea. I, I hope he's watching he this. You, yeah, why doesn't he give you one? Thunder. So, getting gifts that can be a lot of fun. A lot of people love getting together with their family,、mm -hmm. right? Having all that good family time, eating a big meal. Do you do you like to play mahjong? Do you do, do you do that? No, I don't do I, that. But I'm not very good at some it. Some people love doing that. I know. Right? I know. That would definitely be their favorite part. So、yeah. what? About you guys, have a chat about your favorite part of Lunar New Year. Talk about why it's your favorite part, and then be sure to come back very shortly because we're going to be looking at our article. Lunar New Year traditions in Mei Lin's family. Warm-up question: What is your favorite part of Lunar New Year? Why? It's Lunar New Year's Eve. Earlier, my family and I cleaned our house. Cleaning takes away the year's bad luck. We also put spring couplets on the door. We then went to Grandma's house. There, my cousins and I ate dumplings. This is a Lunar New Year tradition because dumplings look like old money. After dinner, Mom told us not to sleep before midnight. It helps the old people and the family live a long time. Tomorrow, I'll visit my aunts and uncles and get red envelopes. I should go to sleep soon. I can't sleep in tomorrow, or I'll be lazy all year. Happy Year of the Tiger, May Lin, 12:52 a.m., February 1st. Word power. Cousin. Cousin. Maddie is my cousin. She's the daughter of my mom's brother. Maddie is my cousin. She's the daughter of my mom's brother. Tradition, tradition. Having a barbecue party on Moon Festival is a special tradition in Taiwan. Having a barbecue party on Moon Festival. Is a special tradition in Taiwan. Midnight, midnight. Beth's parents let her stay up until midnight on weekends. Beth's parents let her stay up until midnight on weekends. Lazy, lazy. 
The teacher gets angry with her lazy students when they sleep in class. The teacher gets angry with her lazy students when they sleep in class. 电视智慧 Luck, luck. Spring couplet, spring couplet. Okay, so the article begins by shouting out very excitedly,、Yay! "It's Lunar New Year's、Whoa! Eve!" Okay, the Eve is often right. exciting, right? New Year's Eve, we go to a party.、Mm -hmm. Christmas Eve, you're excited about the presents you might get、mm -hmm. tomorrow. So the night before the Eve of some big important day is often when we feel the most excited,、mm -hmm. and in this case. This person might also feel quite tired because it's Lunar New Year's Eve.、Mm. Earlier, my family and I cleaned our house,、oh, no. and some people take this pretty seriously, right? They'll not just sort of sweep the floor and clean、uh -huh. up the dishes. They'll wash the windows. They'll take、They'll、you know, move the furniture around, do all that stuff. So, cleaning your house before Lunar New、oh, Year's、no. Eve can be a full day. All family project. That's right. Okay,、you know? and we're taking a look at Nailing's family. What、yes. they do. Okay. 我们现在看一下是第一人称，就是 Nailing。他在想说，哇，现在是除夕夜了。不过稍早之前，哦，他来叙述说他做了什么事情。他跟他的家人在打扫家里。大家都应该知道，过年我们是不是要大扫除呢 ？Okay. Now cleaning is dirty. It's dusty. It's hard work, and not many. Many people really like to do it. Let's be honest, but it's important, as we learn. Cleaning takes away the year's bad luck. That's、oh. right. You want to get rid of all that bad luck, bad luck in the form of dust and dirt.、Yeah. You get rid of that stuff, and you make more room for the good luck. And of course, you also have a nice clean house. Of course, because you know grandma might be coming over. <laughs> You don't want to have her in your dirty living room, and I think for some people you can't actually clean for like a week after Chinese yeah, New Year. Yeah, because it means days, that you、right? are actually getting the good luck away. Exactly, you don't want to get rid of the good luck、yes. once it comes. So get rid of the bad luck and have a nice clean house for the good luck to move in. 嗯，麦果然是台湾女婿，他知道说这个大扫除呢，其实呢是一个很重要的事情，因为我们要之前做，要带走一整年的厄运。Take away 就是带走这个片语 ，luck 就是运气。那如果在过年之后做的话呢，你反而会把家里的好运给扫出去哦。So don't do it during Chinese New Year, though.、Mm, that's right. Something you should do before Chinese New Year. Here's another thing you should do before as you prepare. We also put spring couplets on the door. These are those often red banners with the、mm. writing on them, and it is a a good luck saying. You know, wishing you、yes. health, wishing you good luck in the new year. These sort of signs that people often put next to their door、uh, or above the door, right?、Mm -hmm. Sometimes those are、yeah. called spring couplets. Okay, so they are doing what? They are putting spring couplets on the door. They are putting spring couplets on the door. Spring couplet 其实是直译哦，就是春联，它是一个名词哦。Yeah, I did this one year.、Uh, the first year I was married, we were in the new house.、Mm -hmm. I bought some spring couplets at a store,、mm -hmm. and when my wife was at work,、yeah. I thought it would be nice to hang them and, and surprise her, and so I did. And she came home and. She didn't really notice them, and then a couple of days later, we were coming home together, and I was like, "Huh, huh?" I put those up, and、uh -huh. she's like, "Wow, that's really cool, but this one is upside down." <gasps> I didn't know, and she didn't、True、tell、story. me. True story. I didn't、oh, know, God, and、it. she didn't tell me. So, anyways, be careful. You put the spring couplets the right way up. Otherwise, it makes no sense,、okay. and it could be bad luck. And, and people can't even understand what、yeah, they probably have to turn know, around. But I don't know. So he just just stood there. She didn't tell me. If it was "spring" the word "spring," then it's okay because it's spring flower. All right. So、okay. you've you've cleaned、okay. your house. You've put up your spring couplets. What did May Lin and her family do、mm -hmm. after that? She says we then went to Grandma's house. They spent all day cleaning their house. And now they're going to Grandma's house. <laughs> you didn't have to clean your house, man. No, you did. It's very nice,、yeah. and I'm sure Grandma's house is nice and clean too. And what did they do there? It says there or 
at Grandma's house.、Mm -hmm. My cousins and I ate dumplings. Oh,、Ooh. I love dumplings. Those are good, and I think they they look like the golden、yes. golden ingots、yes. or something, right? Yes, so they're lucky. Yeah. 我们接着去祖母家，在那边我和我的可能是堂。或是表兄弟姐妹跟我吃了饺子哦。这里我们就来看一下 cousin 这个字。cousin 其实，在英文哇，它一字可以多义，它可以指堂或是表兄弟姐妹。那它是一个名词哦，所以在英文我们是没有特定有一个字是指堂或者是表的那边的兄弟姐妹。嗯，那其实我觉得我跟我的堂哥。或是表姐妹们都还蛮好的。My cousins and I are very close， 就是我们很亲，我们感情很好。I meet them once a week， 我通常可能一星期都会看到他们一次哦。而且你们知道吗 ？I have more than ten cousins， 我有超过十个呃堂家表兄弟姐妹，应该不讶异吧？嗯，我们来看一下课文例句。Maddie is my cousin. She's the daughter of my mom's brother. Wow, this 要想一下 Maddie 是我的表姐，她是我妈妈的弟弟的女儿。嗯，好绕口哦。All right. So yes, dumplings very popular at any time of the year, but also good luck at Chinese New Year. So yes, you're eating your fortieth dumpling. And your grandma's like, "Hey,、Whoa. you should slow down. You're getting a little bit. You guys, good luck, grandma. I gotta <laughs> keep eating dumplings because, <laughs> as the article says, this is a new lunar New Year tradition because dumplings look like old money, and the fact that they're delicious just makes it better." Right. Yeah. 那刚刚有提到，就是说他们吃水饺，这是一个农历新年的传统，因为水饺呢，饺子它看起来像古时候的。金元宝、mm. ，and this is a tradition. Is it? Yes,、okay. I think tradition 这个字 ，that's our word power. Okay, but people didn't eat old money with soy sauce. No, 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 no. just dumplings with soy dumplings. sauce. No soy sauce on the money. No, don't do that. Tradition 其实就是传统习俗，它是一个名词。那有时候呢，每一个国家可能会有不同的习俗。那当地的传统会用 local tradition。那有时候我们还会怎么样打破传统？这样的动词要怎么用？我们用就用直接用 break break the tradition。那像是不同的家里可能有不同的一些传统，对不对？像是 a family tradition 就是传统的意思。According to family tradition, we must wash the dishes after dinner. 嗯，就是说根据我们家啊，我们的传统，我们其实是会怎么样？就是在吃完饭之后，我们都必须要洗碗，就是孩子们这一辈都是要洗碗盘的哦。我们来看一下课文例句。Having a barbecue party on Moon Festival is a special tradition in Taiwan. Oh, 在中秋节举办烤肉派对是台湾的特殊传统 Okay, so now that we've eaten our total body weight in dumplings,、uh -huh. we're ready for a nap. So let's go off and have an early night. No, no, we can't. No, we're not doing that. That's bad. It's、luck. Lunar New Year's Eve. What am I? Thinking. So, as the article says, after dinner, Mom told us not to sleep before midnight. Do not go to bed early. You do have to stay up late. In fact, into the next day, past midnight, right? Past twelve o'clock a.m. That would be. That's actually probably one of my favorite things. When staying I, up late. Yeah, when、mm. I was a kid. But now I stay up late every night,、yeah. so that's a bad. Becomes、thing. less exciting. Yeah. So, 晚餐后妈妈告诉我们不要在半夜以前睡觉哦，所以我们要熬夜过十二点才睡。Tell or ask or want somebody to do something.、Mm. 这是有命令或是要求，想要某人去做某事的一个句型哦。And let's check out our magic box. Okay. Magic box. 大家好，我是 Casey. I want you all to pay attention for a few minutes. 我想要你们每个人现在都稍微专心一下下。I also want you all to remember what I'm saying now. 还有呢，我还想要你们每个人都记得我说的事情。好啦，其实没有那么严肃啦。
。只是呢，今天有一个句型要教给大家哦。刚才 Casey 连用了两句 I want you all to blah 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 这样的句子，对吧？这两个句子呢，其实都有“我希望你们做某件事情”这样的含义哦。那它的句型是 “want somebody to do something”。这边的 “want” 其实呢，你呃也除了像 “want” 之外，还有其他的 “ask” 要求或是 “tell” 命令等等的动词呢，它们其实都有相同的含义哦。像是这个句子 ：“The teacher told us to finish the test in 30 minutes.” 老师要我们在三十分钟内写完考卷，大家应该对这句话不不陌生。或者是以下这一句 ：My mom asked me to clean my desk before I went to bed. 我妈妈要我在睡觉之前整理好书桌。这种语带威胁，或者是语带命令啊、要求、希望等等的这些语气哦，在英文里面我们就可以使用以上这个句型哦。不过呢，说到这边，不知道大家有没有觉得，印象中好像也有学过英文里面有一类的动词，也具有命令的语气。没错，那些动词叫做实义动词。那我们来复习一下，实义动词的成员呢，有包含 make、let 还有 have 这三个动词哦。那他们三个呢，就有允许啊，或是叫某个人去做某件事情这样的意思。但他们跟我们今天学的句型。不一样的一点呢，就是实义动词后面接上受词之后呢，不能接上不定词哦，而是直接加上原形动词。所以呢，如果我妈叫我睡觉前整理好书桌，我要用实义动词的版本的话，就会变成以下这一句哦 ：My mom made me clean my desk before I went to bed. 但是呢，在今天的句型的时候，还记得吗？就会是刚刚的 My mom asks me to clean my desk before I went to bed。那这两者的意思是一样的，但是句型上面是不一样的哦，大家要记得分清楚哦。All right, so yes, we're going to be staying up very late. In fact, we're going to be staying up past midnight into the next day. Midnight, twelve o'clock. Midnight, a.m. A.m. I always get those confused. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's take it. Look. Okay. Midnight is 几点钟呢？其实中午我们都会说啊，十二点钟，晚上十二点钟，半夜的时候就是 midnight， 午夜。那中午的十二点钟是 noon。那所以呢，很多时候台湾我们常会说 twelve o'clock。事实上呢，在国外他们会直接用 midnight。来表示晚上的那个十二点，而 noon 是表示中午的十二点，所以比较不会用 twelve o'clock 来表示哦。比方来讲 ，I go to bed after midnight. True story， 这是真的。我真的每天都半夜之后才去上上床睡觉。Or I think this is a very important thing. 我觉得如果半夜要打电话给别人，其实是不太礼貌的。It's rude to call somebody after midnight. 你可能会打扰他的作息或睡眠。我们来看一下课文例句。Beth's parents let her stay up until midnight on weekends. 哇、wow, ，Beth 的爸妈允许这个 Beth 在周末时熬夜到午夜，真的很好哎、欸。Okay, back to the article. Why are we staying up until midnight、mm. or even past midnight?、Right. Well, actually, we learn from the article、uh-huh. next. It helps the old people in the family live a long time. Oh. Oh, okay, I know that. I didn't know that. You didn't. Staying、okay. up late helps old people live a long time. Um,、okay. kind of. You 帮他守岁 but not too late. Yeah, you're kind of like this is like you're trying to keep the them like safe all year long. Okay,、It's、but you,、like、but you don't want to take grandma to the nightclub and dance no, 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 until no, no, no. four a.m. It's like you're kind of like guarding for them. I see. The idea, the whole idea. Oh. Okay. 对， okay. 这个中文就是守岁，就是会帮家族的长辈哦，就是让他们会守岁啊，可能会比较长寿一点的一个象征。Okay, and then another thing that Maylin is very excited about, and I think we can share her feeling on this one. Tomorrow, she says, I'll visit my aunts and uncles and get. Yes, red envelopes. Money, money, money. Absolutely. Thank you, and thank you, and okay, thank you, and oh, gongchi, gongchi to you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You're so cute. And then you go shopping. That's right. 明天我会跟我去跟我的叔叔啊、阿姨啊、姑姑、舅舅们拿
红包，恭喜发财。Yes, exactly. No, 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 I don't, I don't have anything.、Mm-hmm. Sorry. And I should go to sleep soon. She writes, I can't、mm-hmm. sleep in tomorrow, or I'll be lazy all year. That's the whole point. Is that true too? <laughs> yes, that's, that's a、true. tradition. I used to like my mom used to say this to me all the time. It's like. You better get up early.、Uh-huh. Yeah. So if you sleep in on this is on New Year's Day or New Year's Eve. I think New Year's Day, like day. the next day. Okay, yeah, so you, you stay up you late, sleep in, but the, then you can sleep in. You got to get up early, or、right. you'll be lazy all year.、That's、and of cool, course,、though. that would be well. It might be not okay, too long, but not during、okay. exam time. No, you might regret it. Okay, so he said, "Hey, I should get up early to sleep because I can't sleep on New Year's Day. Otherwise, I'll be lazy all year. So you better get up early, or you'll be lazy all year." So you better get up early, or you'll be lazy all year. So you better get up early, or you'll be lazy all year. So you better get up early, or you'll be lazy all year. So you better get up early, or you'll be lazy all year. So you better get up early, or you'll be Lazy 其实就是有种慵懒的、懒惰的意思。它是一个形容词。像是，其实 Laura 我呢，绝对不是一个 lazy student. I'm not a lazy student, or I wasn't a lazy student. I was very hardworking. 在学生时代的时候，我是非常用功的呢。可是呢，在生活的时候，在家里的时候 ，I am very lazy at home. 到现在都是。I don't like cleaning my room. 我常常就是觉得说很懒，然后都不喜欢整理房间。我们来看一下课文例句。The teacher gets angry with her lazy students when they sleep in class. 这个我其实倒还好哎。学生在课堂上睡觉的时候，这名老师就会对他的懒惰的学生发火。我可能就会走在他躺旁边，然后就叫他起床。I love to sleep in.、Mm-hmm. Just a light song. I always sleep in on weekends. Oh, really? Yeah. Every weekend? Actually, every day probably. Oh, you're lucky. Because I work、lucky. usually in the afternoon. Well, okay. You you stay up quite late too, right?、Yeah. So you're sleeping in. It's really just sort of normal sleep、exactly. for other people. Yeah.、Okay. And we also saw the conjunction、mm-hmm. or 连接词就是否则在这里是这样的意思哦 That's right. So back to the article. Happy Year of the Tigers、oh, tiger, is what it says.、Man. As Maylin finishes her little message to us, telling us about what she's been doing、uh-huh. and how her family celebrates、uh, Lunar New Year,、mm. and then she also oh, interesting. She wrote the date twelve fifty two a.m. So very early in the morning,、mm-hmm. just before one a.m. And this was on the February first. Oh, okay. So, 最后、hmm. 当然他就是他署名，然后他就说。虎年快乐！然后他是谁呢？美玲。然后他还有写时间，就是凌晨十二点五十二分，二月一号，也就是我姐姐的生日之后那一天。My sister's birthday is on the day before. Happy birthday, Annie!、Oh, really? Oh, wow. Okay, so she's going to have a birthday and New Year all at the same time coming up soon. That's exciting. Let's look at our review time before we wrap things up and say goodbye. Review time. All right, so our review time is going to be a fill in the blanks game. So I'm going to give you you a sentence with a word missing, but don't worry, the word is from our list of four new words for today. So you have a one in four、mm. chance of getting them. That's Actually, right. Actually, better than that. So there you go. Let's look at those words though one more time. Remind ourselves: cousin, tradition. Midnight, Midnight and、Lizzie. lazy. All right, so I'm going to start off with a bit of a challenge. I'm going to say I have a very blank blank. I have a very lazy cousin. Ooh, you guessed right. 真的假的 Yes, that was very very good. I have a very lazy cousin,、mm-hmm. and at Chinese New Year, his blank. Is to eat snacks until blank. His tradition is to eat snacks until midnight. That's right, until midnight of the last day of、oh, Chinese New Year. He just、pig. he just eats snacks all day and watches game shows all night. Piggy. Yeah, well, you know, he eats a lot of dumplings, so he's also rich. Oh, okay.、Yeah. Rich in dumplings, not in money. I guess. Yeah. So. All right, guys. <laughs> Happy New Year, Gongxi Gongxi, Xin Yan Kuai Le, all that good stuff, and we'll see you soon in the next year. How exciting! Bye. Lunar New Year traditions in Mei Lin's family. Warm-up question: What is your favorite part of Lunar New Year? Why? It's Lunar New Year's Eve. 
Earlier, my family and I cleaned our house. Cleaning takes away the year's bad luck. We also put spring couplets on the door. We then went to Grandma's house. There, my cousins and I ate dumplings. This is a Lunar New Year tradition because dumplings look like old money. After dinner, Mom told us not to sleep before midnight. It helps the old people and the family live a long time. Tomorrow, I'll visit my aunts and uncles and get red envelopes. I should go to sleep soon. I can't sleep in tomorrow, or I'll be lazy all year. Happy Year of the Tiger, May Lin, 12:52 a.m., February 1st. Word power. Cousin. Cousin. Maddie is my cousin. She's the daughter of my mom's brother. Maddie is my cousin. She's the daughter of my mom's brother. Tradition, tradition. Having a barbecue party on Moon Festival is a special tradition in Taiwan. Having a barbecue party on Moon Festival. Is a special tradition in Taiwan. Midnight, midnight. Beth's parents let her stay up until midnight on weekends. Beth's parents let her stay up until midnight on weekends. Lazy, lazy. The teacher gets angry with her lazy students when they sleep in class. The teacher gets angry with her lazy students when they sleep in class. Luck, luck. Spring couplet, spring couplet.